Hey everyone, it's Evangelion, and today we'll be taking a look at the Thule Wing Bar Edge feet for your flush rail systems. We'll take a look at its features, how they work, how you install them, right here at eTrailer.com. Now this is just going to be the edge feet. So make sure for your specific vehicle to have the other components, which is gonna be the fit kit, as well as the crossbars that match your car. You can use our fit guide here at eTrailer.com where you can get everything kitted for you. So compared to the wing bar Evo system, which allows the crossbars to go past the tower and give you overhang, this is gonna be a very flush and low profile look. So some people like that look because it looks more sleek to them and it's more factory, but it really does have its different pros and cons depending on what you're carrying. So if you're carrying around something like a roof box or a roof basket and you just want it centered on your roof rack, then this is gonna be a great option for you. If you wanna carry around more items like four kayaks or maybe a bike rack as well as a roof box, this actually limits your crossbar space since you have those towers taking up that space. For example, we have 44 inch long crossbars, but they're actually cut down to 40 inches of usable space here on this Tahoe. So if you wanna use things like kayak carriers with load assist to make it easier to reach, or you wanna maximize your space, especially on taller vehicles, you can see how the wing bar Evo style, which gives you more overhang, might be more helpful than a low profile style that the Edge has. Now, make sure you have the correct crossbars that work with this. There's a lot of different Thule crossbars and can get very confusing. So, this works with the wing bar edge as well as the arrow blade edge crossbars. So, as long as it says edge in there, it should probably work. But double check our product pages here at eTrailer to confirm it matches with your crossbars. When it's in the unlocked position, you can pop that end cap off and now have access to your tower. That way you can install as well as uninstall the feet. If you want, you can upgrade to metal lock course, especially helpful if you're using this with other tool accessories and you want them all keyed alike. So I've installed similar roof racks from some other brands and they all have different approaches to flush rail systems. Of those, I think this one is one of the easier ones just because all you have to worry about is getting the right fit kit, which is two hooks as well as a pad that wraps around your flush rail. Also gives you versatility for where you want to install. And your tools are included. It's just gonna use this included Torx wrench which is an Allen key to tighten things down. And once all four towers are tightened down, go ahead and put that end cap on. It just slides onto there and you do get some plastic caps. These pop into the end cap and secure the end cap to the tower as you're driving around. It's a nice secure fit there. My personal thoughts about this system is if you want something low profile that gives you like a very factory look, this might work out great for you as long as you have the correct fit for your vehicle. If you want more overhang, you want to maximize your crossbar space, I did mention the Evo version which works similarly but gives you longer crossbar options. Again, comparing them to other brands, this one has a lot of versatility and is easier to install because of those clamps. It's just a little tricky getting the foot onto the crossbar. So hopefully this video helped you out with figuring if it will work for you and if you can install it all by yourself. And that was a look at the Thule Edge feet for your flush rail systems right here at eTrailer.com.